the case against Julian Assange is probably, and I, and I am absolutely certain of that. It is the worst attack on press freedom in my lifetime in our part of the world. It entails such a severe attack on press freedom that if we don't take firm action to uh, counter it and stop it, it would have extremely grave consequences. We are seeing here uh, a publisher, uh, a journalist being attacked for the first time uh, by the United States government uh, with the Espionage Act. Previously, they were using it or abusing that act, as was pointed out by my former speakers here, uh, against whistleblowers uh, in, in, in uh, an increasing uh, capacity. We were saying at that time, watch out because this will, journalists will be next. And Julian was saying that, and indeed he then became the first journalist and publisher to be attacked with this uh, uh, archaic and very dangerous legal tool in this lawfare that he has been uh, uh, suffering from and uh, having to fight for 10 years now, almost 11. Uh, we are talking about uh, 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 a former, uh, a powerful nation who is, has deemed that they have uh, a universal reach. They are indicting uh, a Australian journalist who published his work not in the United States, but in Britain, in Germany, in Sweden, and in my home country, in Iceland. If we allow this to go on, go further. It means that any journalist anywhere in the world is not safe. If any journalist anywhere in the world will publish something that the United States government, uh, the superpower deems is against their interest, they will go after that individual, seek extradition, even rendition, what have you.